Hi, David Campbell with Coldwell Banker here with another Difference with David video. Wanted to talk about trusses today. And we've got a bunch of those right here. All of this framing is what we call trusses. And this is what supports the roof and made up of this bottom stringer, which is the long one across the bottom. There's a king stud in the middle, and then you got a lot of webbing in between. So uh, these things are made off-site on a jig, and they put them together with these things called nail plates. You see right there, they got these little barbs all over them, and they press them in there, and that holds the joints together. Then they bring them out here with a truck, special truck with a crane on it, and lift them up individually, and the guys are up on top of there on the framing and set them 24 inches on center uh, is the typical amount and um, nail them in and there you go, you got them. Um, oftentimes referred to as rafters, but that's not the same by any stretch. A rafter, instead of all this webbing, it would be wide open. You just have uh, the, the top stringers would act as a rafter in an we saw those in older houses, you know, something from the 40s, 50s are probably gonna have rafter in it, but all that would be wide open and you could finish an attic out with a rafter roof very easily. But as you can see, you certainly can't do that here. All right, talk to you next time.